welcome guys to my second episode of my King's Raid beginner account with Panzeron as our main DPS. So today I'm just going to explain a couple of things that I suggest a new player should do and um, show you guys a little bit of my progression and stuff like that. Um, I won't be going too in detail as to my account's like position right now and stuff like that, but at the end I will be showing you me taking out my Transcendent 3 and 4 stages for my Panzeron. One, I completely demolish without Pansy, which is hilarious, but the other one, I don't really do too well on, so, I mean, granted, I got, th like, through most of it, but that enraged bonus she gets in the end, like, that, that they get with that attack and stuff, is just really insane, but anyway, so, today's main focus is going to be a, a little bit of explaining as to what a new, a new player should focus on. Um, I did get up to like chapter 7, 6, which then unlocks the Ice Cave, which is like a sub-story, uh, a little derail from the main story. I did beat, uh, I did complete a lot of my guideline missions. I'm missing the League of Honor one just because you need 12 units for that. But other than that, I've completed almost all of them. Um, I get Selene from my 3-day login here, or 4-day login, I believe it is. But anyway, I wanted to talk about what a new player should invest in after getting the four main um, heroes they want for their squad. Um, yeah, you're gonna see a lot of random stuff happening in the video, but I just wanted to refer to the, I just wanted to attack this as soon as possible. Because a lot of new, a lot of new players' questions are usually what to spend rubies on. Um, I did spend a lot of rubies. As you can tell, I only have 2,000. I had like, I had about over 10k as I was playing throughout the, the last couple of days. Um, I just want to point out here during, as you saw the guideline I froze on like the tower, the tower of ordeals stage 10. You will hit a couple of walls if you're not, you know, too used to what you're doing in the game. And that was one of the walls I did hit until I buffed my team a little, a little bit. So just keep in mind that a lot of the missions do give like gear rewards and stuff like that and other things that will help progress your team even further but anyway so i wanted to talk about the rubies the main focus for a new sh a new player should be getting the four main heroes that will build up their team all right um after that there is a couple things you can invest in but there is a lot of things that look good that you do not want to invest in I'm just showing off my my gear right now on pants around. Um, I got the so the T6 gear you see you get from clearing the repositorium. Um, one clear, two clear, three clears, four clears give you four tickets. So I did that for Ponzi because she's my main unit. Of course, she's my main. And that's the unit I want to maximize upon. As you can tell, my whole squad's level 70 now. Um, I got them all at five star two. <sighs> My Panzeron's been transcended. I do. So in the shop, you're gonna want to spend on your heroes, of course. Um, here I'm just explaining or showing like all classes of heroes: wizards, mechanics, priests, mages, assassins, warriors, tanks. Will be mixed when it comes to the front, middle, or back line. Um, <laughs> what else do I show here? I believe here I am I am talking about um, the synergy between heroes. How you don't want to invest, you know, buy a hero that just looks cool because team synergy is a very vital component about King's Raid. Um, I'm showing off that I'm showing that Rehartna's attack boost and such applies to just flat attack, whereas Lavril's um, damage amplification is in regards to magic damage. So you don't want to buy Lavrel and build an entire team of physical, you know, damage because it just won't help as much as buying a, a support that amplifies physical damage. Um, you don't want to build a magic DPS unit and using fill up as your frontline who strips physical defense. You want a unit that strips magical defense like Neroxus. Um, so I'm just showing you that, you know, team synergy is a very, is like the number one thing to keep in mind. And then I moved to the special shop 
And there is a lot of things you want to invest in, or, you know, if you're going to pay, you can. But there are also a lot of things you don't want to pay for. But in the end, it comes down to just personal preference and how much you are willing to spend. Um, like the boosters, like this right here, the XP is the one thing I will definitely never buy. And I suggest no one ever buys. Because XP is very easy to farm and grind and get, you know, your units leveled up to 90. It's not that hard. It just takes a little bit of effort, a little bit of grinding, and a little bit of time. So, the 70 boosters are good if you really want them. And, you know, you're... Do you think they're worth it? The, especially the rubies. That that's a good investment. It's not that bad. Um, the one thing I do think would be very important is the soul fragment one you see in the shop. Stamina do not buy with money as well. Transcendent points depends, but forty-four dollars for three for fifteen points is very expensive, in my opinion. The boosters are very good at a very good price. And then we come to the shop. I do a summon here, and you're gonna see I get absolute doo doo. I get like the worst. It's awful. And I get a Clash Unique weapon, which, by the way, one of the missions in um, in the guideline missions, well, not in the guideline, but in the raid missions, I believe, or gear missions, or growth, there's a gear tab that requires you to equip a unique weapon for a class, not a unit. So that right there is an example of that. But then I come to the all-in-one all specials used to be your go-to, but now we have these starter pickup summons, which allow you to pick four units for which you will receive their unique weapons or unique treasures if you pull a unique weapon or treasure. You can pick unit a unit you don't have and may get in the future. So I picked Evans. I don't have him, but I would want his unique weapon. And this is possibly the best summon for newbies to do after they build their team. Um, after 20 summons, which is 50,000 rubies, you get a guaranteed unique weapon ticket. This is one of the best summons that starter that they have added into the game. You, ha from my experience, I did four pulls. I got a lot of unique weapons and treasures. Unfortunately, some of them were just bad, and I didn't need them. But um, it's a very good summoning to do. So you're gonna want to invest into this one, and then you can spare your rubies for something else to buy either stamina pots if you need the stamina, to buy other things. Um, to invest in other parts of the game itself, reach foraging costs rubies if you don't have tickets. So, this is a very good summon that I suggest all newbie players do. Costumes can wait, accessories can wait. Special goods are expensive. This is for um, real money purchases. Um, the mileage points, though, you get from spending rubies, and you will rack those up fairly quickly when you buy heroes and stuff like that, or you spend it in bulk. The unique weapons and the unique treasure ticket are. Of importance in the mileage the other two is of not so much importance um but yeah so when it comes down to the monetary value of what you get off this game it's definitely personal um some people some people feel like they gain a lot when investing 50 into a 50 dollar pack and then some others feel like they're not worth it at all so it's very personalized to you know the player what you guys are willing to spend, what your budget is. I personally won't be investing at all into the game when it comes to mon like real real money. I just don't do that. Um, if I were to do that to any game, it'd be Apex Legends, but which I already did. But anyway, um, here I'm going into a, a little further into showing just how Team Synergy works. Um, the reason Red Heart now works better in physical teams is because of the one score I showed. It, it, it amplifies physical damage taken on that skill. I think it was her skill 2 or skill 3. But even then, she's an all-around great unit to have in both teams. Because her her, her skills it's herself, like the skills itself, are really good. Um, but yeah. Anything else I think I can touch up on when it comes to beginners is stick to your guideline missions. Don't skip your guideline missions. I see a lot of people doing... Um, in chat or in other guilds, I see a lot of newbie players doing stockades when they're about to reach a stockade mission that gives them good rewards. Don't waste your dailies. Don't do all of your arena challenges without completing your guideline mission. So you saw my pansy got deleted by by the T3 stage, but I ended up just shredding her over time with Philip and the rest of my the, the my two my two support buffers and I mean my two supports. Um, which I just found hilarious, but it worked out in the end. T4 is where I get demolished. But do not waste your dailies. 
Make sure you're watching and keeping an eye out for your missions and your guideline missions when doing your daily missions or your daily stuff. Um, collect as many rewards as possible. Focus on story progression. Um, focus on your squad, getting them geared up a little bit, little by little, getting them gear and stuff like that. You don't want to skip rewards. There are so many things that will help push your, your progression so much. So I didn't also here I didn't do research on my Ponzi when it came to her transcendent perks. So I'm not sure if I made the bat the wrong decision, but here I chose her skill one light just because it increases the physical damage units take on her most spammable skill when I get the right unique treasure for it. So um this is me trying out T4 and Joy Me losing. I'm gonna call it a day here guys. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you liked please drop a like button hit that like button, you know, drop a like, it'll help me and support me. If um, you guys want to see more content, just let me know in the comment section what you want from me. Um, subscribe if you like, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. So, thank you very much. You can also check out my Twitch in the description and join the Discord server in the description as well. I'm always online, always talking to people. So, thank you very much and catch you guys on the next one. Bye.